Hi guys, welcome back to Nicole Knows Live. I'm Nicole and welcome if you are new. I know it's been a while, well, a week. I'm switching up my uh, posting schedule, so I'm trying something new just to make sure that you guys are seeing me, just like I wanted to see you and talk to you. So that is why this video has dropped today. Anywho, so I just kinda wanna talk to you guys about being a millennial and being a mommy at the same time and trying to be an up and coming influencer or you know, and using social media to work for me so that way I can make money off of this social media life. So if you wanna know what I do and if you wanna hear what I got to say about it, stay tuned. Okay guys, so I got some notes because I wanted to talk to you guys about some of these little topics. Um, I had planned on doing this video with my daughter running around so you could really get the gist of it. But you guys have seen her in plenty of videos and she's at daycare today. So you know what? We're going to do this the right way. <laughs> Alright, so basically I, I don't know if you guys have read my blog. It's the same name, NicoleKnowsLife.com. Um, I had wrote a post about being a millennial mommy and what it means to really embrace social media for your work. Um, lately, probably ever since I started my YouTube channel, it's kind of when I started wanting to become more of a social media influencer. Um, I noticed, you know, people aren't making their Instagrams and YouTube pages, channels, whatever, make them money. And I was like, why can't I? Hence the reason why I started this YouTube channel and kind of why I've re been revamping my Instagram. You can find a link to my Instagram down below in the description box as well as this blog post, um, Millennial Mommy. It is also down there. But I kind of wanted to do a video so I could kind of elaborate more and hit on some points that I did not hit in the blog um, and some elaborate more on some of the points that I did hit on in the blog. So first things first. As you guys know, I am a full-time working mommy. I have a crazy, crazy, crazy schedule. I am 26 years old with a about to be two year old and I am married. So as you can imagine, life is crazy. Only, and I say crazy because my husband and I are both trying to climb up the career ladder, trying to do things that we wanna do and find time for us to enjoy each other as well as our daughter. And, you know, really just kind of find that balance of, you know, life. Um, however, working full time has really put a strain um, on us. And really not working full time, but the fact that I have a crazy weird job schedule and um, a job and schedule rather. So I currently work as a news producer. So therefore, it doesn't matter what happened they don't they don't care um i told you guys about this in my 2019 goals video that you know the job that i have just really doesn't care about you as a person or your personal life so it's really 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 hard for me to find the time to enjoy because i have thursdays and fridays off so right now i will be giving you a life update here soon but right now i'm in the process of trying to really get out of that job and start anew because i feel like that alone is really putting a strain on my personal life so you know i'm trying to make videos twice a week i am trying to post every other day on instagram i have to do photo shoots video shoots i mean i have to balance my kid because she only goes to daycare part-time since i kind of work weird since i work monday through wednesday during the week I don't send her to daycare Thursday and Friday because if I did, I wouldn't get to have any time. So, and then when I am with her, I do record videos, but a lot of time, you know, I want videos without her because they don't relate to her. You know, I want her to be in videos that relate to her. So working and trying to manage social media is a job. Working full time and having to build up your influence is a job. Thankfully, I've somehow been able to balance it and, you know, have been getting, you know, some offers. I did my last um, review on a free product on the video. I have been reached out to on Instagram and I've so far received, I've received free training, personal training, 
as well as some kind of free um, makeup serum that I'll be giving you a review on as well. But as far as working full time, it's really hard. It's really hard. So being a millennial and a mommy and a full time worker, <laughs> just trying to use social media for your job is just tough, 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 tough. But I manage it. I, you know, I told you guys. Or have I told you guys? Yeah, I did tell you guys. You know, in my 2019 goals video that I write in a planner. I got a new planner so that way I can plan out videos, blog posts, and you know, when my work schedule is somewhat consistent, I try to, you know, plan out what I can do around my work schedule, what I can do around my daughter's schedule, and you know, kind of balance it out so that way I can lead somewhat of a normal life. But hopefully soon that will be changing. Um, so another thing with becoming a millennial influencer, social media influencer, and using social media for work is branding yourself. And if you've already branded yourself and it's not working for you, it may be time to rebrand yourself. Again, I wrote a blog post on this as well, but I feel like talking to you guys is more personable because some of you guys don't read my blog. So I kind of want to, you know, elaborate on that, those things. So I rebranded myself, um, too many times really probably about three times and I'm finally in a space where I love my blog it's so pretty it's me I know it's me I love my YouTube I love the videos that I've been doing I've been getting great feedback from them so that's why I'm glad I did take that risk and rebrand it myself because I used to go by Nicole knows I didn't have the life at the end then I was like you know what I need to make this more specific to me so Nicole knows life because I give you guys life videos life advice life blog posts life pictures on Instagram that is me so I thought that was perfect and so I didn't really have to you know go too far away from my original branding so that helped keep who I was intact as well um, I started redoing my Instagram and a lot of you are probably like well, what what well something I learned um recently when I did start diving into the whole Instagram influence thing was Instagrammers have um a set filter which they call presets so I purchased a preset played around with it and created my own and now all my most recent pictures since I created that filter has the same look has the same tone has the same filter so to speak and um i'm loving it i'm loving it because i get again i get good feedback on it and it makes me feel good because i put in the work working as a social media mommy is not easy when you got a bunch of things to do because let me tell y'all instagram influencers do a lot of work believe it or not you think that they just take a pretty picture post it with their product and get paid mm -mm, mm -mm. And rebranding also included doing research because I need to make sure that this time around it was going to stick and people can identify me. So definitely if you feel like right now your Instagram doesn't look cohesive or you know it doesn't have a theme, then you need to probably rebrand your Instagram. If you have a blog and you feel like you don't like it, it doesn't represent you, it means it's time to rebrand and when you say rebrand or when I say rebrand it means um, to kind of just redo yourself brand yourself in a new way create a new brand so people can recognize you from said brand so that's what I've been trying to do um, so I had kind of touched on this a little while ago and I won't elaborate on too much but social media influencers um, have to do a lot of photo shoots and so luckily I have a friend who is she's not really trying to be an influencer but she has a keen eye a creative eye so she helps me a lot with my um, photo shoots and you know it doesn't take much we both got nice decent cameras and we go out I use the camera that I'm recording on to take pictures I mean sometimes if I don't have any other camera I use my phone that phone cost me a thousand dollars so you know what I'm going to that camera <laughs> you know you just have to you just have to do what you have and so you know you you have a nice camera that takes pictures and videos you might as well use that go out and take the time if you have a tripod if it has bluetooth my camera does not have bluetooth so I can't but like the phones have bluetooth and you can buy one of those little bluetooth um um, remotes and then take pictures you know so I have been doing a lot of improvising going out on a lot of photo shoots 
really trying to brand myself, keep myself relevant, keep people interested in me, keep companies looking at me. Because, like I said, I've been getting a lot of hits and um, I got a few, you know, free products. I try not to accept every offer because I want it to be a part of me and what I represent and not every product represents me. So definitely you have to do photo shoots for your blog and your Instagram because social media is all about visual vision. They want to see you, they want to see what you're working with, it's content creation. I mean, if you're not trying to be an Instagram influencer or, or YouTube influencer, then it really doesn't matter. But having that vision, the visuals, it's important, it's important. To finding the time to go on photo shoots. Let me tell you guys, it is so hard. I think I took my daughter on one and she worked out perfectly. Um, the very first one I did, she was out of town, thankfully with my mom. So I was able to get it going and it worked out perfectly. Then the second one I took her and she, she did good. She was getting antsy. Like I said, she's about to be two years old. So she's not trying to sit in nobody's stroller. She was trying to be in the mix, okay? Because my child is bougie, y'all. Um, but you know, you, you just got to figure it out. I mean, if, you have, if you're like me and you have a kid and you are trying to do this social media thing, you just got to figure it out. And luckily, my daughter's not, you know, worse on where she's just... Where I just cannot take her. I'm like, Luna, sit down. No, you know, she chills. She does her thing. And she lets mommy do her, do her thing. And she likes that. And she's okay with that. So, I'm okay with that. Um, so, that, my next point was finding time for YouTube. That goes into finding time for photo shoots. Finding time to shoot videos has been crazy. So, that's why I've kind of taken a step back. And I'm like, first of all, I need a break. Because I was just crunching I was crunching because I work 8 45 to 6 o'clock I you know work 30 minutes away but uh, since I live in Phoenix traffic is crazy so I don't get home until about like 6 37 ish um but I want to go to the gym but I can't go to the gym because I'm like I gotta do this vlog I gotta shoot this video and then on my days off I'm like I gotta shoot this video but then I get lazy and I gotta clean up and I gotta you know do whatever with my daughter so ooh. I had to find, I had to step back, I had to step back from it because it just was not working for me. So I'm taking a step back and I'm trying a new schedule and like I said, hopefully um, some things work out where I will have a new job schedule as well and that will help too because then I can shoot on weekends and do events and do stuff like that, which is the ultimate goal. So finding time if, you know, for anything, for your Instagram, because you have to sit down and engage with your followers you have to sit down and you know comment on their pictures go like pictures in the hashtags and all this crazy stuff and finding that time for engagement is crazy because it's just like i gotta respond and then you and i was told to give the same in yeah my card got full but anywho so yeah just finding time you know to engage and show up and show your followers that you are a real person is really really hard so that's why i try to engage with you guys on here you know on my insta whatever just so i can show that i am real too because ultimately that's why my um title is nicole knows life because i know life and i want you guys to come to me or feel inspired by me in your life so yes all right so lastly i just want to talk about finding time for family um being deep you know into social media is time consuming as i just told you guys and being able to find time for your family is rough um it's not easy because you want to put yourself on a schedule for your posting but also you want to make time to go out to eat with your hubby boyfriend whatever fiance or you know get some play time with the little one in i know how it is it is not easy but it's important to really write down things that you may you know have need to remember um uh, have a planner write in that planner you know plan your content and ex execute it and do it one thing I, like i said i have a bad habit of doing was when my scheduling posting was um wednesdays and saturdays i had a bad habit of skipping out on thursdays and because thursdays were my recording days and then fridays would be my editing days and i had a really bad habit of pushing it to third friday recording and editing on friday posting on saturday and then hoping that i would be able to come home after work 
and record a video for Wednesday and I feel like it was starting to affect the quality of my videos and I was like no and I did that because I was spending Thursdays with my daughter and when my husband got off we would go out to eat or whatever we would try to do something and sometimes he might get off on that Thursday and he would try to you know spend time with us so you really have to know what you're doing and plan your content accordingly otherwise it ain't gonna work out buddy <laughs> but yeah so being a millennial mommy is you know easier said than done however it can be done with the right tools um but let me not go guys i want to hear from you of course as always in the comment section about how you balance your life in social media because a lot of us here on youtube if you do youtube videos you probably in the same boat as me if you're not a mommy but how do you balance life motherhood or familyhood if that's a word um you know as well as your social media life let me know i want to hear from you guys so thank you for watching and listening to me this was just like i said just kind of giving you a breakdown of what it's like to be a millennial mommy and then using social media for work and trying to build up that so i can work from home work for myself kind of thing um i want to hear from you guys so go ahead and leave me a comment like this video and don't forget to of course subscribe I will see you guys soon.